Alrighty, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna test out the Cobalt quarter inch hex impact and the drill driver. Now, uh, I just unboxed these uh, and to, uh, we are gonna see on how these actually perform. Now today is New Year's Eve, so Happy New Year's, you guys. And we are going to conduct a thorough stress test on these. I recently acquired a one and a, a one and a half inch self-driving spade bit, and we are going to see in how well these perform. We are going to conduct some timberlock screws, some lag screws, and we're going to drill some holes with this and see what it does. All right, so the drill driver is model number of uh, four uh, KDD uh, five two four B dash zero three. It is a twenty four volt system. Uh, two speed settings on the first speed it is 0 to 550 rpms on speed 2 it is 2000 RP rpms and the max torque is 650 inch pounds of torque which that's uh, that's pretty that's actually pretty good uh, so the quarter inch hex impact it is model number KID 324B-03 uh, three speed settings on the first setting, it is 0 to 850 RPMs. Speed 2, it is 0 to 2,000 RPMs. And on speed 3, it is 0 to 2,700 RPMs. It is 1,800 inch-pounds of torque. The designers did a good job designing these. I'll, I'll give Cobalt that. The designers did a fantastic job designing their tools. We are going to do a couple of easy tests. And then do two hard tests. Let's see on how well the drill driver performs with a half inch. We're gonna use speed two with a half inch drill bit. All right, we're gonna do it right here. Once the truck hits the wood, that's when we're gonna stop timing. All right, so ready. It's on drill battery is full all right so ready go all right let's try number one all right Time. Time. All right, what's the battery at? The battery is at three bars, it says. All right, let's see what it does with a three eighths, uh, sorry, a three quarter inch drill. All right, so ready? Go. Oh, I was hoping it wouldn't stop, but it did. All right, let's go to speed one. Time. It did it. All right, now let's do that again on speed one. Let's do that one more time on speed one. All right, so ready, go. You can do it. Time. Not bad. Not bad at all. That, that dominated on speed one. That dominated that. You just feel that, that torque. All right, so we're gonna graduate up to a one inch spade bit. All right, so we're gonna do it right here. One inch, speed one. No, uh, we'll do speed one, then speed two. All right, so ready, go. You can do it. Done. Done. Wow. Good job. Good 
job. All right, let's take it out. Slower. There we go. Nice and slow. All right, let's see what it can do. Wait, what's the battery life on this? It's at three bars still. Let's go to speed two. Let's see what it can do. All right, so ready? Go. Oh, I was hoping it wouldn't stop. But done. It stopped at the last second, but it still stopped. But it did it. It did it. Not bad. All right, speed one. Take it out slowly. Ooh. There we go. Don't smell burning. Do not smell any burning whatsoever. All right, we're going to do one hole with the one and one eighth. See what it can do. We're going to do, do it on speed one. Ready? Go. And that is it. It did it. Made it all the way through. Not bad at all. Look at that. Look at that. Even able to burrow through all that to graduate up to uh, the one and a half. This is a beast. This is a beast. All right, so ready? Go. Wow. Look at that. You can do it. You can do it. And I think that's it. Yes, it is. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. It did it effortlessly. Let's have fun taking it out. Nice and slow. You want to overwork the motor. Nope. Sniff test, not a scent of anything burnt. Fantastic, it's a good drill. As you can see what I put these through, this is a good drill. It really is. This is worth the money. Now the only question is, is how well does it perform against other brands? And that's what we're gonna find out in the future. Alrighty, so. We are gonna put the two amp hour back in. Just to let you guys know, if you guys wanna find out what happens with this with the four amp hour battery, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, we're just gonna use the two amp hour battery on one charge. Let's see what this can do. All right, battery is at half. We're gonna use the Makita half inch to a quarter inch hex socket adapter. And for this test, we are going to use Tac Life Impact Rated Sockets. Alrighty, so put that there, lock that in place. Fantastic. We are not going to waste any time today. We are just going to flat out do the 8 inch and 10 inch. And let's see if it can do it. If I need to whip out the other battery, then so be it. But I want to see if this can do it with the remaining charge that it has. We're going to do speed three. Ready? Go. Shipping. Shipping. Time. 
That did it. All right, what is the battery life? Battery life is down to one. All right, let's see if it can take this out with one bar. All right, so ready? Go. It did. And that's time. All right. It is down to one bar. It is down to one bar. It smells like a brand new motor. We are going to see if we can put a 10 inch lag with one bar. All right. So if it does not, we are going to whip, uh, put the four amp hour in to finish the job. All right. So ready? Go. Let's check the battery. Yep, it's blinking. That means the battery is dead. Let's whip out the. I'll give you a hint of the four amp hour. I didn't want to. You know what? No, we are not. We are not. We're just gonna. We're just gonna continue on. Give the battery. Uh, I'm gonna let this sit. Give the battery a few minute break. Then we'll come back. All right, so we are back. The battery is at two bars now. We let the battery chillax for a little bit. So, and before we read that, let's see what the temperature reading is on this. Still cold, 54 degrees, not bad. All right, so let's finish this up. Remember, this is a 10 inch lag. Ready, go. Oh, now it won't. It lost the momentum. All right, let's see if it'll, I have no choice now. Let's see if a uh, full, fully powered four amp hour can take care of it. All right, so ready, go. Nope. Wow, that's in there. All right, this is gonna be a challenge now. So already first, what we are gonna do is we are gonna see if the Milwaukee M18 Fuel quarter inch hex impact could take this out. We're gonna try speed one first. All right, so ready, go. Speed two. Nope, speed three. I'm gonna give it a second as well. Nope. This is with a three amp hour uh, high output battery as well. That failed. All right, so next we're gonna try the Ryobi half inch impact wrench with a three amp hour compact HP battery. Let's see if this could take it out. So ready, go. No problem, easily. Now, I was prepared to grab the six amp hour flex battery and use the DeWalt brushless uh, mid-range impact wrench, but the Ryobi was able to do it. So, this thing's a bad man pajama, by the way. And so is this. The, give credit to Ryobi, Ryobi do, did come a long way from their tool line. I mean, this thing, this thing really is powerful. For a mid-range, it is, it is powerful. But yeah, these a uh, head-to-head uh, versus video coming up. All right, so this has been the demonstration of the brushless 24 volt max drill driver and impact driver by Cobalt. 
So the these things are awesome, and these things, and these things are powerful. We are going to put these to the test against Tilty, Dewalt, Milwaukee, Ryobi, Makita, and against itself against other batteries. We are going to see if there is a big difference in the future between a four amp hour and a two amp hour. Like I said, you guys, endless videos coming up. Please subscribe to the channel. These things are awesome. I hope you enjoy the show. Today is New Year's Eve. I wish you guys a happy New Year's, and I hope you guys have a, uh, a good, safe night. So that's pretty much it. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.